What's going on everybody? Ravi Ramnaran again from Ravi Ram CPA. I'm Devin Ramnaran. Hey guys. And today we're going to talk to you about house flipping and how it is pretty much your one way ticket to bankruptcy. Pretty much. I mean, you have people who want to get rich quick, do this, do that. They don't want to go to school. They don't want to work a menial job and save their money and work their way up the ranks and or start a side business, do a master's degree, certification. They want to get rich now. Well, of course. Yeah. It doesn't work that way, people. I mean, you know, unless you can take off from the free throw line and dunk it over seven people, you're just going to have to do it the tried and true way. You're going to have to take the turtle approach. Well, guess what? Right. Oh. Well, but, you know, the good news on that is mm -hmm. anybody can do this. Exactly. The turtle wins the race, guys. I mean, how many times have we seen Uber drivers that we've had or cab drivers who owned seven homes during the boom of 2005 with what 5% down on each one because they were handing out loans like candy back then and yeah. all of a sudden they're driving for uber at age 50 I mean my goodness gracious yeah I've definitely <laughs> seen it up close and let's just say that I saw some colleagues and other people just take some risks that were just stupid and let's just say that with, uh, you know, things that you hear, and Devin's going to get into this in a second, things you hear on the media today, internet, radio, whatnot, it's almost like they're trying to screw over the next batch of 30 and 40-somethings who didn't lose their shirt during the first boom. Well, I mean, or you know what? boom, turn bust, that is. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. But you know what? If you decide to listen to somebody who wants to charge you, you know, dozens of thousands of dollars to tell you something that you could probably do on your own, then I mean... Natural selection? I yeah, mean, I mean, no, hey. Um, sorry. Yeah, they're out to make a quick buck, and they're make, not making the quick buck on flipping homes. They're making the quick buck on your money. <laughs> uh-huh, yeah, these people go around, and I'm sure you've heard of Jingle or Seventeen on the uh, radio or TV mm -hmm. or somewhere. Um, these people have this business plan where they can teach you how to flip a home in, like, seven weeks, and you can buy five at a time, and you're mm -hmm. going to be a millionaire. Well... Chances are, that's not going to happen, first off, but just to get signed up in the way that they want you to, you know, the best way to use their program, it's going to probably cost you about fifteen to $20,000. Easy, easy. And if you look into the business model of these people, that's most of where they're making their money. Mm -hmm, correct. It's, it's not in the actual house flipping. You look at their, their history, it's kind of been it's been up and down like they've lost and gained about at an even pace right yeah so I mean what kind of investment do you want to gain then lose why don't you just go to the casino if that's what you're gonna do honestly I mean, you're basically yeah. just paying 15 grand for a motivational speech yeah I mean <laughs> bravo bravo well done well done <laughs> well done yeah no I mean Devin's right it's uh it's not in your best interest to go to one of those things you know, they don't tell you about the buy and hold, and trust me, that's a lot better than any money you're going to get flipping. You know, if you hold if you hold something for X amount of time, especially in a up-and-coming city, or if you're lucky enough to get into a major city, real estate-wise, I mean, we've talked about this in prior vlogs, but, right. you know, the rich landlords of New York, of Boston, of Chicago, and now Fort Lauderdale uh, and other places, Vegas, they, they were not flipping homes. They would buy, 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 hold, 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 rent, rent, rent. I mean, that's it. I mean, it's really, it's not rocket science. It's you know, not. Bill Gates once said why he's so good, so good at business. Business is not complicated. It's not. You know, a lot of these businesses that are going under right now, I'll give you an example of one that's not. And they mm -hmm. don't, they have a very specified, you know, group of people that they're selling things to. Hobby Lobby. And you want to know why? Because mm -hmm. they own their real estate. There you go. Yeah. There Toys R Us? Hobby Lobby? Well, if people, I mean, something even simpler than that. <laughs> McDonald's. People don't know this. McDonald's is not a restaurant. Did you know that? McDonald's is actually yes. not a restaurant. I did know that. It's a real estate holding company. Yes. That just happens to sell burgers, and they own some of the most expensive real estate in the world. That's how they've been around since the 1950s. Buy and hold, guys. That's how they're a yeah. multi-billion dollar company selling dollar hamburgers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, need, yeah. Need we say more? So how do you get into this? How do you do this? Well, we're going to spit some hard truth to you right now. 
you know, especially those of you who would say, you know, I'm an accountant, so uh, obviously, you know, I have uh, some sort of bias toward, you know, accountants and helping up and coming people and, you know, in that profession. And you're making what, 60, 70, 75, maybe in New York City coming out of school as a big four first year accountant. Um, New York City, San Francisco, those places are not for you. I mean, if you must live there, family, or if that's the only place you could, you know, break in and get a job, okay. Keep your rent cheap. You know, there are places you can rent in New York that are not too, too bad. You can live with roommates, especially out in Queens and Brooklyn, places like that. And just save every penny that you possibly can. Obviously, to try and buy a home in that even dilapidated area is going to cost you eight, nine hundred thousand. So what you do is you go and you buy, look at Pennsylvania, look at other places where it's cheap. Buy a bunch of rental properties there with your savings. You know, you'll have a property manager who will manage it. Yeah, you're not gonna make a whole lot of money with one, but you have two, three, or four economies of scale takeover. You rent them out. You're basically having that rent out in, let's say, Pennsylvania, like I said, paying your rent in New York City as mm -hmm. you progress through the ranks. And who knows, before you know it, you could have a nice little amount of savings there, and you may be able to buy in New York five, six years in, if you're lucky, and if not, you want to make your dollars go further, you go somewhere else. It's just, it's right. it's really, really simple, people. You know, this is this is totally free advice. We're not charging $15,000. We're not charging a dollar. We're not even charging $15. Yeah. I, you know, another good place to invest right now is Las Vegas. That's another one, It yeah. is. It is, I mean, people think of it as an expensive place, but not really. The prices of houses are probably about half what they are here, but the pay is about the same. Here in Fort Lauderdale, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. So... Yeah, it's just a matter of using your mind, you know, people get stuck into these mindsets of, okay, this is the way to do it, this is why, because this is the way people have been doing it for the last 50 years. No, no, no. Yeah, because that's worked out for our economy so well so far. Yeah, when they were handing out those loans, like I was saying before, with candy to the manager at Burger King making $40,000 a year or Starbucks or wherever, um, Chuck E. Cheese, and literally giving him that kind of money, he's going to go and get an ARM interest rate adjusting loan and one month his payments a thousand next month it's three thousand yeah he's gonna be on the street and, yeah, and who yeah. gets to pay for that yeah <laughs> and we all pay for it now when we go to get a mortgage and have to show them what we ate for breakfast three weeks and two days ago just to get the loan approved no matter if your credit score is 850 so yeah, yeah. and it, it's just I mean we get it I mean I worked in banking for many years and I get it but at the same time it was one extreme to the other because I was also in banking when banks were handing out those loans like candy and you would literally just show up at the bank and sign to tell them what your income was. You could write basically whatever you wanted. Gosh. Yeah, it was a, it was a feeding frenzy, but uh, we digress. The point is buying and holding is the way to go and finding yeah. those areas you know, in the country that allow you to do that on your salary. And here's something that's going to probably piss off the 0.1%, but we don't care. You can literally do this in your lifetime from age, let's say 25 to, I don't know, 50, 55, depending on how long you want to work, and stick all of those homes into an irrevocable trust. You still, you know, find a way to, you know, also you can't directly manage it if it's in an irrevocable trust, but you can find ways to at least, you know, have some kind of hand in it. And literally, that portfolio that you've put together, along with whatever cash and anything else you want to stick into that irrevocable trust, and depending on how long you set it for, it can stay in your family for generations, your kids, your grandkids, your great-grandkids. How do you think all these families keep their wealth? It's, it's a no-brainer. Um, and for more on that, you yeah. can definitely... They don't, they don't uh, just go ahead and flip their stuff over. You know, let's say you have, you have two properties and you decide you're going to try and pay the, uh, the rent on those. Instead of renting them out, you want to get them sold in seven weeks. Mm -hmm. Let's say you decide you're going to pay the fifteen hundred dollars a month for both of them. Oh, the so, mortgage. So three thousand yeah, yeah. that it costs. So, okay, so you let's say you bought both of these things for one twenty-five a piece, and in seven weeks they'll be worth one thirty a piece. Let's let's do the math here. I mean, so come ten thousand. So ten thousand bucks. Okay, so you made ten thousand mm bucks, -hmm. but you're spending three thousand for two months, so that's six thousand. So you made four thousand dollars. And that's. Congratu Congratulations. <laughs> and that's not even, well, and that's not even including realtor fees, um, you know, selling costs, uh, little ancillary expenses. You're lucky if you break yeah, even, basically. That, yeah, that's gross. Yeah, yeah, you'll break even if you're lucky. Yeah, you didn't make any money. Yeah, and you, but you know what? You got that education. Yeah. You did. So, in a nutshell, uh, 
for more on you know this and setting up family wealth for generations, you can definitely talk with us on that. Uh, we're not lawyers, but at the same time, we can tell you about the different vehicles you can utilize. So when you do talk to your trust and the state attorney, that they can help you out with that. Yes. So, uh, and again, we can help you guys as far as running the numbers and making sure that you know whether something is profitable or not. Right. So for Devin Ramnerine, I'm Robbie Ramnerine. So long, and we will see you guys next week. See you guys. Bye.